Well, earlier in the program, we talked about the lack of initial public offerings in Cincinnati and how that's impacting our local economy. In this morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360, we want to keep the IPO discussion going. Nationally, there are some high-profile IPOs out there like Etsy and Uber that are getting a lot of attention. U.S. Bank Vice President and Senior Portfolio Manager Mike Deniman joins us this morning to talk about that aspect of going public. He's with Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Mike and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. Mike, I've got the IPO interview down I like this, it. This, this week. So last year, we were seeing record-setting numbers mm -hmm. of IPOs nationally. What are we seeing the first quarter of this year? Right. So we did see some, some really, right out of the box, a, a great pace last year. We haven't quite met that pace last year or this year, but again, things were, were, were going just so gangbusters last year. I don't think anybody anticipated we'd see such a hot start this year. So we still had 41 IPOs in the first quarter, which is a very healthy number. In fact, it's right in line with what we would expect with the typical first quarter. Mm -hmm. But in context of last year, when we saw 71 IPOs in, in the first quarter, you see mm -hmm. that, that that's more than double that, that typical average. So uh, th th I don't think anyone anticipated that we'd be on that same pace, but still the IPOs that we did see in terms of volume tells us that so far it's, it's, a, it's a healthy year. And last year, I remember Alibaba uh -huh. was the, the hot one, and then Peg mentioned Uber and Etsy. What are, what are we seeing this year in terms of what are the hot ones that are? Sure. So, yeah, nothing so far this year that has even close to the hype of Alibaba, which stole all the headlines last year. Uh, but uh, as you mentioned, we, we've seen some, some familiar names so far, some household names. Uh, a week or so ago, we had GoDaddy.com, a uh, technology company many people are familiar with from their TV yeah, commercials with right, Danica Patrick. Right. Uh, we're just a week or so away from Etsy uh, having their offering. Uh, many of us are familiar with that name uh, from shopping on their website. Uh, but, uh, you know, those are, despite being household names, they didn't grab a lot of headlines. Right. Uber, on the other yeah. hand, will be the big hype machine with the caveat if they come to market this year. So it's widely expected that they will have their IPO in 2015, but then there are some that are saying, well, maybe the company is not quite ready in that we should expect that maybe 2016 is more likely. So oh. um, they haven't shown their hand yet, so there'll be a lot of debate uh, as the year goes on. But if they do come to market, certainly that would be the, the highest profile IPO for the year. So what else? All eyes are on Uber, but what else should we be looking for? Any, any other trends? Any other well, things in, to watch? Yeah. In terms of just the trend itself, uh, I think how the year plays out depends on what the stock market itself does. Mm. Uh, we've seen so much activity with IPOs because the market is at record high levels. If you own a private business, you want to cash out when, when things are going well. So you're going to look to have your IPO when the market's high. Uh, on the other hand, if the market's down, there's really not much incentive for you as a business owner to, to cash in your mm -hmm. shares. So uh, if the market continues to do well, it stays at these levels for 2015, I think we just see the IPO trend continue to, to chug along. But uh, there's some out there that say that a correction is overdue. So mm -hmm. if the market were to slip a little bit, I think we'd see the number of IPOs pulling back. All right. Well, you'll watch it for us. As always, we appreciate U.S. Bank. We so appreciate you being here. Hopefully I can come back later this year and we can talk about all the hype on Uber. We would love to do that.